Hello. You ready for another story? You are. That's good. Because tonight I've got a new book. And it's a story called Princess Smarty Pants by Babette Cole, who's one of my favourites. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this book used to belong to Eleanor. And Eleanor is now 25 and works for the Ministry of Defence. She's also a bit of a Princess Smarty Pants herself, I think. Princess Smarty Pants by Babette Cole. Princess Smarty Pants did not want to get married. She enjoyed being a Ms. Look, she's watching telly, eating chocolates with all her pets. Got a cat, a dog, and a pony. Oh, I don't know what those are. Because she was very pretty and rich, all the princes wanted her to be their missus. Oh, please won't you marry us? Princess Smarty Pants wanted to live in her castle with her pets and do exactly as she pleased. She's giving her pet a wash. Ooh, that's a rather big pet snail, isn't it? And what's that? A dragon? A dinosaur? It's high time you smartened yourself up, said her mother, the queen. Stop messing about with those animals and find yourself a husband. Oh, she's not happy. <sighs> Suitors were always turning up at the castle, making a nuisance of themselves. Right, declared Princess Smarty Pants. Whoever can accomplish the tasks that I set will, as they say, win my hand. She asked Prince Compost to stop the slugs eating her garden. Ooh, the slugs are rather big. Ooh. He didn't like that, did he? She asked Prince Rushforth to feed her pets. Uh, I'm off. He's gone. She challenged Prince Pelvis to a roller disco marathon. Ugh. He didn't last the course, did he? She invited Prince Boneshaker for a cross-country ride on her motorbike. Meow. She called on Prince Vertigo to rescue her from the from her tower. Ooh, it's a tall tower, but he's not really up to the job, is he? They're laughing at him. <laughs> she sent Prince Bashthumb to chop some firewood in the royal forest. Oi, come back here. Have a go off with an axe, would ya? He's running away. She suggested to Prince Fetlock that he might like to put her pony through its paces. <sighs> He's gone. She told Prince Grovel to take her mother, the sheen, the queen, shopping. Oh, too many parcels. She commanded Prince Swimbladder to retrieve her magic ring from the goldfish pond. That is quite a big goldfish, isn't it? I'm not sure about this. None of the princes could accomplish the task he was set. They all left in disgrace. That's that then, said Smarty Pants thinking she was safe. Bye. But then Prince Swashbuckle turned up. Princess Smarty Pants, I brought you some flowers. He stopped the slugs eating a garden oh, by giving them champagne. Fed her pets 
from a helicopter. Roller discoed until dawn. Oh, she's pooped now. Rode for miles on her motorbike. Grrr. She's getting a bit better with him. He rescued her from the tower. Oh, using suckers for plungers. He found some firewood to chop in the forest. He even tamed her horrid pony with hypnosis. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Took her mother, the queen, shopping. Oh, it was clever to bring elephants to carry the parcels, wasn't it? And retrieved her magic ring from the goldfish pond. Ding. There it is. Prince Swashbuckle didn't think Princess Smarty Pants was so smart. So she gave him a magic kiss. And he turned into a gigantic warty toad. Rubber. Prince Swashbuckle left in a big hurry. Bye! When the other princes heard what had happened to Prince Swashbuckle, none of them wanted to marry Smarty Vance. So she lived happily ever after. Did you enjoy that? I hope so. Bye-bye.